Learning to read clocks is kind of tricky, but once you figure it out, it's very exciting. Welcome, explorers. I'm Mrs. John. Hi, Pocky. Do you have an egg for me today? Thanks, Pocky. What's inside? Oh, we have some letters. We have T and E, N, M, L, C, I, U, and H. Okay, so let's make two words from this. Lunch, L-U-N-C-H, and time, T-I-M-E, lunch time. Now today let's open up our 1000 stickers book and we're going to talk about time. Telling the time, we did that one already, and now we're going to talk about some things that we do at different times. Here's 10 o'clock. Let's look and find our 10 o'clock sticker. This sticker has a purple face and the hour hand is pointing at the 10 and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. So that's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Let's see here. This clock face is yellow and the hour hand is pointing at the 11 and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. That is 11 o'clock. Twelve o'clock is kind of fun. This, this one has a red face. With 12 o'clock, both hands are pointing at the 12. Okay, what time do you eat lunch? Do you eat lunch at 12 o'clock? That's what time I like to eat lunch. What time do you finish school? Oh, I don't know. Depends on what kind of school you're going to, huh? So here are some tricky ones. Let's see this one here. It says quarter after one. And this one has the minute hand pointing at the three, which is a quarter after the hour. So there's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. That's kind of tricky right now, but with if the minute hand is pointing at the three, that's a quarter past. And the hour is the hour hand is pointing at the one, so it's a quarter past one, or one fifteen. Quarter after two is the next one. Let's see here. Yeah, so the quarter after, the minute hand is pointing at the three, that's a quarter after. And then the hour hand is pointing at the two. That's a quarter after two, or 2.15. Half past three, okay. So the half past is pointing at the, the minute hand is pointing at the six. So that's when it goes all the way from the 12, all the way back to the 12 again. The minute hand goes all the way around, that's an hour. So a half an hour is when the minute hand is pointing at the six. So this is a half, half past and three, half past three. The hour hand is in between the three and the four. Okay, so that means it's 3.30 or half past three.
And for half past four, again, the minute hand is pointing at the six, so that means it's half, half the hour, half past. And then the minute or the hour hand is between the four and the five. So it's not quite five, it has to still be four. 4.30 or half past four. Learning to read clocks is kind of tricky, but once you figure it out, it's very exciting. Now this one is half past five. So remember the half past means that the minute hand is pointing at the six. And the hour hand is in between the five and the six, so that means it's 5.30, half past five. So, so we've learned 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, quarter after 1 or 1.15, quarter after 2 or 2.15, half past 3 or 3.30, half past 4 or 4.30, and half past 5 or 5.30. What time do you finish school? Is it one of these times? Or close to one of these times. What time does the blue clock say? The blue clock says 4.30 or half past four. Cool. So hopefully this helped you to learn how to read clocks a little bit better. Did you find my baby chick hiding in this video? Subscribe to my channel for new videos every weekday and Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for visiting me in my kitchen today. Please come back soon. Please press the like button below this video. Have a lovely day.